hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial we'll be looking at the find higher order function as the definition goes it returns the first element in the provided array that satisfies the provided testing function so if no value satisfies the testing function it returns undefined but let's demonstrate this with a very interesting example so we could have a price list which is an array of numbers. So what the definition gave us is the first element that passes the testing function. So over here, we are going to find the number that is greater than 20, so price. So I'll say if price is greater than 20, then it will return the very first element that passes the test. If let's say I change the condition from price should be greater than 20 to price should be greater than 10, because 24, which is the very first item inside this array is greater than 10 it will return 24 instead so that's something that you also need to look out for so even though 15 is greater than 10 i think logically most uh, everyone would think like 15 will be the item or let me say the answer that will be returned by this find function but it isn't that according to the definition it says the first item in the array that passes the condition is what is being returned if let's say we change this from find to filter we get an array of all the items that pass this particular condition and over here we get 24 25.99 30 50 and 15 so the main difference between filter and find is the find just returns one item that's the very first difference and then filter returns an array of conditions that passes so supposing we have um should be equal and greater than 50 sorry 40. even though 50 is just one item it will return it as an array so if you want to reference it you have to put the index there then it will give you the number so the find higher order function is a very interesting higher order function that i think you could explore to your advantage so thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button see you next time